everyone, I'm Megan. I'm the dietitian at Help in Corktown Health Center. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a healthy black bean taco recipe. So this recipe is great because it's high in protein due to the beans. Um, I'm making it vegetarian, but you can always add some shredded chicken or pork. Um, it's, you can kind of make it your own. Um, that's what's great about this recipe is if you prefer certain things, you can add them in, or if you don't like certain things, you can always take them out. So for this recipe, I have two cans of black beans. And the beans that I chose actually are a no salt added uh, type. So you can't always find no salt added in every grocery store, but if you can, and you're following a low sodium diet, this would be a good option to choose. Um, so it's, it literally has no added salt in it at all. So there's 10 milligrams of sodium in, um, for half of a cup of these, but that is just natural sodium. So it's not uh, additionally added sodium. So this is perfectly fine. Um, if you cannot find no salt added, you could also find um, a reduced sodium or a low sodium can of beans. Um, but you wanna be careful with the reduced sodium because it may still be high in sodium. So that is why it is so important to check the label when you're purchasing a product and following um, a low sodium diet. You would you know, look under the sodium section and make sure that it is not a high sodium containing food. Um, beans can be tough because canned items are typically high in sodium. So just being aware of trying to buy a low sodium or a no salt added bean variety. So then for my tortillas, I have corn tortillas. Um, corn is a whole grain, so this is an awesome choice. Um, it is mostly just made from only corn. Um, compared to flour tortillas, which are a lot more processed. It contains white flour. So corn is a whole grain choice while most flour tortillas are not. The other great thing about corn tortillas compared to flour is that these are also going to usually be typically lower in sodium. So this brand that I bought for three tortillas, it is only 25 milligrams of sodium for three. So that is pretty low for um, a lot of tortillas. So you wanna, again, like the beans, be aware of how much sodium the type of tortilla you're buying has. So again, this is just corn. Um, there are only a couple ingredients in here, so this is an awesome whole grain choice for tacos. And then I have a couple other additional ingredients like lettuce. Um, you could add onion when you're cooking the beans. Um, you could add parsley, cilantro, the great thing about this recipe, like I mentioned, is that it's so versatile. You can add a bunch of other additional things, you know, kind of to your preference. So again, this recipe is really simple. Um, like the majority of my recipes, I think the simpler the better. Um, and it, it doesn't take a ton of ingredients. It looks like I have quite a bit here, um, but if you don't want to add all of this, you know, that that's up to you. So to begin with my beans, um, I poured them into this bowl. So most beans, if you are not getting a no salt added type, since it has sodium, a good way to reduce the sodium even more um, is put it in a strainer and rinse it really well. So you know that helps to reduce some of the uh, additional sodium. So I have my beans in here. I did not rinse these since they are um, not, they don't contain any sodium, but they also have um, their own juice. So if you like, if you don't really prefer that, um, that bean juice, you can always rinse it off. And I added, you can see on top, I added my tablespoon of cumin already into my beans. So I'm just going to mix that in. And then I'm also going to be adding some lime juice. So about three tablespoons that I have already measured out. And I'm gonna just be pouring this into my bean mixture as well. And you can always add additional seasonings here like pepper, um, you know, cayenne pepper, um, chipotle pepper add even more spice and all of those that I mentioned actually don't contain any sodium if you're buying just the simple dried um, seasoning so it's a great way to season your food without adding additional salt so I'm also going to add a third cup of water so I have two-thirds measured out here because I need a third after I cook them so I'm only going to be pouring in one third of this water and it doesn't actually need to be exact. Um, you want it pretty close, but unlike baking, cooking is, is more of an imperfect science, so you can have your measurements a tiny bit off and it usually does not ruin the recipe. So I'm just gonna mix that in. 
And then on my stovetop, I have a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just going to turn this up to a medium heat. And I'm going to heat up the oil. So my oil is now heated up and I'm just kind of going to turn it around in the pan so that it coats the bottom of the pan semi-evenly. But it'll also coat the rest of it when you mix it up. And I'm going to add my beans into my skillet. So now that my beans are in the skillet, I am going to cook it over medium high heat for about five minutes, covered. So I'll know it's ready when most of the liquid has been absorbed and the beans are soft. So like I said, that could take, um, depending on your, your stove top, it could take about five minutes. So while that is cooking, um, I have my corn tortillas and I'm going to heat them up, which helps to make them a little bit more pliable um, when you are building or eating your tacos. So there are a couple of different ways that you can keep your, ta your tortillas warm. Um, this is the quickest way. I have a damp paper towel, so I wet it and just, you know, it's not soaking wet, but it's, it's damp. Uh, the, whole, the whole paper is damp. And then I have it on a microwavable plate and I have, I'm just doing two tortillas for now so I have both my tortillas on my plate. I'm going to cover these and then I'm going to microwave them for about 20 seconds or until they're, they're warm. It's really, really important to make sure your paper towel is thoroughly damp, otherwise it can be a fire hazard. Um, so there's other ways to do this is putting it in the oven. Um, there's a couple, couple varieties, but I will put that in the recipe if you want to change your method of heating up your tortillas. So again, 20 seconds about in the microwave until they're warm. So now my tortillas are warm and you can cover them with like a dish towel or something just to keep that warmth um, until you're finished cooking and ready to eat them. So also while those are cooking, I'm going to make a little um, topping for the tacos. This is totally optional, but I have one half of a cup of sour cream and then about two tablespoons of lime juice again. And I am just going to mix those together just to make it a little bit more flavorful for a nice extra topping that you can add on top of your tacos when you're ready to eat them. So it's as simple as that. Um, again, totally optional. So I'll set this off to the side and I'll top my tacos with it when they are finished. So while this is cooking, I'm just gonna add a couple more seasonings to add a little bit more flavor. Um, I just picked some random seasonings that I thought sounded good, but you can put change, but you can add different seasonings depending on your preference. So I have a little bit of black pepper. I'm not measuring it out, I'm just kind of eyeing it. Um, I'm, I prefer cooking just kind of how I feel like it. Um, some days I may want more of a spice, I'll add more pepper, more cayenne. Um, some days I don't want as much, so I won't add as much then. So I would say it's, this is probably coming out to about a quarter teaspoon of these seasonings I'm putting in. I also have some basil. and also some paprika. This is my favorite spice. I put it in almost everything. I think it's a great, delicious spice um, that's pretty versatile. And then I'll just mix the seasonings in and continue to cook until the water has reduced in the beans. So it's been a few minutes. Um, my beans, I tested them, they're pretty soft. Um, so I'm going to turn these off and as you can see, it's kind of thickened up my liquid. Um, there's still quite a bit of liquid in there. Um, so I'm actually not going to add my additional third cup of water. That's again, the great thing about cooking is you can kind of change it depending on how um, things go. So I don't really need much extra liquid. So I'm just going to, to leave that extra third cup out. And then I'm going to just take a fork and kind of mash up about half of the beans. Um, again, it doesn't need to be perfect, and you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. Um, but I'm just going to mash them up. They should mash pretty easily um, since they've been cooking for about five minutes. And as you can see, um, there's not a special way to do this. You just kind of mash it up with a fork. It just makes it a little bit thicker. So I've mashed up about half of my beans. Um, you can see it's a little bit of a thicker consistency now. 
And so that's basically it. Um, I'm going to take a slotted spoon just to get out some of the additional liquid so it's not too watery in my taco shells. Just kind of get some of that extra liquid out. And then you can really put as much in your, your taco shells as you want. Again, if you're adding meat to this, um, you, you'd want to do less beans so you can have room for the meat since corn taco shells are usually smaller than flour. And I'm adding a little bit of lettuce. I just picked up a random mix at the store. Um, this one has a couple different veggies, so it's a great way to get additional veggies into your, your meal. And just kind of putting them, putting as much as you want in the taco shells. And again, if you don't want lettuce or if you want a different type spinach, um, it's, it's totally interchangeable. And then I'm adding a couple avocado slices. Just a couple in each. If you don't like avocado, uh, you can leave these out, but it's a great healthy fat. And then my sour cream mixture, just kind of putting that on top. And you can add cabbage, um, purple cabbage. That's a great way to get some more color into this meal, but it's pretty healthy and flavorful as it is. And that's about as simple as it gets and they are completely finished. I hope you enjoyed this recipe.